Is there anything slower than molasses in January? We'll find out. So yesterday I talked to a guy from the Morris Thompson Cultural and Visitor Center in Fairbanks, Alaska. And he said once they threw a pot of boiling water up in the air when it was minus 44, and the thing just froze before it hit the ground. It just vaporized. So we're going to try this with a cup. And my prediction is the hot water will go up in the air, come down and make an icy spot on the park. That was kind of cool. So what we're gonna do is take this egg and break it open. It's kind of cool because you can see the steam coming off the egg as it sits there and see how long it takes to freeze on the side of the walk. And then we'll time it and uh, take a photo and see what it looks like. Don't try this at home. Ah! Oh, I wrecked it! So the egg took about a minute and a half to start to kind of glaze over. Um, and by, I would say about 10 minutes, it was frozen solid. What I've read online is it's supposed to look like a boiled egg. It looks nothing to me like a boiled egg. It looks like a frozen egg on the sidewalk. We are going to try to take a banana. It's been frozen, took about 30 minutes, and try to hammer this nail into the wood with us. No, it's not frozen hard enough. Let's try the other one. Oh, egg! So welcome back to the Gazette's Weather Lab. The next experiment is to put blow-up balloons on the inside, bring them outside, and the cold air is supposed to shrink the balloons. I, I really haven't seen a significant effect here. Now we're going to make a maple syrup candy like Laura Ingalls Wilder. As I said before, I would really prefer just to get my candy at the checkout. Back with the maple syrup. Let's see how it turned out. Here is a slab of maple syrup candy. It tastes like maple syrup and car exhaust. 